Sam from Black River Drive joins me on the show this evening and it's a pretty exciting time because you've just released your second album. That's right. So yep. here it is, it's called Quicksand and it's quite, uh, what, fiery and brimstone kind of looking on the cover, yeah? Right, yeah. What was the idea behind the um, artwork? Um, we worked with an artist named uh, Ryan Cothy um, to do, it's sort of loosely based around a kind of um, apocalyptic virus hitting, yeah. hitting the world and a lot of the photography is sort of very close up kind of like um, petri dish type photos. Totally, I was even like spotting like a little a couple of things here that look slightly scientifically yeah, that's petri it. dish styles yeah. from what I remember from sixth form science. There maybe. you go. Yeah. yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah. Um, and so the idea behind that is that teaming up with the theme, uh, you know, behind the album as well. Like, yeah, definitely. So that okay. that kind of comes through quite a bit, and um, it's sort of like a loose theme that I kind of work to in terms of the songwriting. So I okay, like cool. to have like a um, kind of some parameters to work within, and I don't know. That was sort of really what was on my mind was kind of um, you know global warming and moving yeah. towards a kind of. Um, uh, an event that uh, everything changes. Uh, I'm kind of obsessed with that whole thing, like the movie The Road and... Um, I'm just seeing the, the first track, uh, track number one, Doomsday. Right, so exactly, yeah, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, so it's, uh, that's what it's about. Awesome. Um, so you've had this album, you've been holding on to it for a while, because it was yeah. last year that you recorded it, That's eh? right, so it's been a full year of, uh, what actually happened was we um, did a uh, crowdfunding campaign through a website called Pledge Me. Which how, is, did you, hey, how did you find that? Um, hard. It was really right, hard. Okay. Yeah, it's it's I, it's I, you know not for the faint-hearted, um, <laughs> but it went okay. We got there. We hit our target, which was twenty thousand um, dollars. Mm. I think it was about two hundred and fifty people. Uh, we had some people buying, or a lot of people buying the album for like twenty bucks. We had other people buying. Um, uh, all sorts. We had a guy, uh, Braden McLean from, I think he's from Nelson, um, put in like 800 bucks. He's an apprentice. Wow. Like a huge, you know, commitment from him, but he just really wanted it to happen. So, yeah. um, so thanks, Braden. Um, that is so cool. That's yeah. choice. We had a few people like that that were just like, no matter what, this is going to happen. Um, and yeah. then, so we went to Nashville and we were there for uh, six weeks recording the album. Um, and then we got the mixes, we did the mixes while we were there too and we just were really not happy with them. We felt like yeah. we've put this much effort in, um, let's get the mixing right. Totally. And um, quite a bit of time passed, I suppose, <laughs> somewhere along the line. Yeah. And we ended up using this guy, uh, Forrester Seville, who was... Um, Is he, he's Australian, eh? He's Australian, yeah. um, totally amazing guy. He's done uh, the band's Dead Letter Circus and Carnival mm -hmm. that we really love. And anyway, Forrester totally came through. And then we ended up doing mastering in Sweden. So it ends up being this international... I was going to say, Jet Setting International album. That's right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And then why Sweden for mastering the album? Uh, that was a recommendation from our friend Zoran Mendonza, who actually recorded um, additional guitars in Auckland. So in fact, <laughs> New Zealand was part of the process as well. And he was like, "These are the guy." He he really saved the guitar tracks, which had not come out that great in Nashville. Okay, yeah. We were using all hired gear, and some of it was better than others. And we had some disasters. My my absolute prized guitar we'd taken over to Nashville, and I took it out of its case, and the neck was like in bits. Oh, <laughs> you know? devastating! It was. It yeah. was a sad moment. Yeah. Now you guys, um, you've been very busy as well because uh, we were talking actually off screen about you recording music videos yeah. for every single song on the album, so 10. That's right, so we kind of looked at it and went what would be, you know, in this kind of YouTube age that we're yeah. in, uh, this, this digital video age we're in, how can we um, create something that allows people that are interested in sort of delving into the album um, to experience it. Mm. Um, and it became apparent that it would not be, we kind of thought it, w it wouldn't be that difficult to set up all of our equipment in a, in a great room somewhere, um, set up some cameras and basically play the album back to back, record yeah. the whole thing and then release the videos. So we've been releasing one music video a day in the lead up to the album release. You're so right about it is a YouTube age where people will maybe instead of looking it up online to buy they might go oh let's check it out on YouTube Exactly. first of all. That's the hope you know, anyway. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's actually been the feedback clever. you know we've had people commenting on the videos going man I've watched the last four, five, six videos and I love this album I'm definitely going to buy it so it's like good job done. There you, you know? go. <laughs> Choice. Now the other exciting thing is that you guys are currently on tour. We are. Yep. Yes so what's how many scenes have we got? 
Uh, we're doing t uh, seven um, gigs in total. So mm -hmm. tonight is uh, Masterton. Yes. Um, King Street Live, yeah? King Street Live, yeah. Have you played so, there before? No, we haven't. And I've always wanted to check it out because it's uh, Warren. Everybody's going. It's it so good. Warren so, Maxwell's. That's right. That's what I've heard from anyway. Trinity Roots. Yeah. So I'm guessing the sound and the acoustics will be amazing. I've heard every detail is just perfect. It's like wow. a musician's dream. Except it's in Masterton, which is kind of random. But you know, I'm going to Masterton just to go to a gig there. That would be yeah. awesome. Rad. Yeah. So we're doing that. Um, we are doing uh, Auckland Hamilton next week mm -hmm. and uh, I think then we have a week off and then in the final weekend of November we are in Christchurch in Nelson. It's cool. our first time in Nelson as well so that'll be really oh, cool. Really? Yeah. Oh really? Oh wicked. Whereabouts in yeah. Nelson are you playing? Um, rattle and hum. We've been so focused on like get the album out, do this tour and then I think we'll probably look at opportunities from there. So we've committed to um, Homegrown. Oh um, wicked, yep. Yeah, which is fantastic. And that's just, they just re-announced um, the second lineup for Homegrown, That's eh? right, yeah. So, it looks oh, it's going to be massive, I can't wait. They've pretty much ticked off every single rock band in New Zealand. I don't know what the other stages are like, but yeah. Um, yeah, the rock <laughs> stage is like, yeah, you've done it. I think it's Blacklist, Jihad, you know, everybody, everybody is wow, there. Wow, that's joy. So yeah. Um, oh, good times. We're going to do, um, I know we're doing one gig for music and parks in mm -hmm. Auckland but yeah I mean we, we're definitely really keen to just play and play so we'll just sort of see what comes I guess. Groovy. All right we're gonna yeah. go check out the brand new music video for Grenade. That sounds also a little apocalyptic and why not? War <laughs> Can yeah. you tell me a bit about the song before we check out the music video? Sure um, so this song is um, about a relationship gone very wrong pretty much Ooh. about a young lady who was uh, <laughs> I mean, the grenade relates to this girl, um, that yeah. she was sort of very unpredictable and um, maybe a little bit dangerous. Um, so yeah, Zoics. it was, uh, it was, a, it I'm was sure plenty of, a, of people can relate. Yeah, well, yeah, it was a terrible experience, but it's, I got a good song out of it. So, you know. See, that's the main thing. It's that's like, right, absolutely. All these life experiences, hopefully, you know, with um, the experience with the album over in Nashville, more songs to come that's right. from that yep. experience. Could well cool. Be. Well, thank you, Sam from Black River Drive. If we want to get tickets for the shows, where do we head to? Uh, eventfinder.co.nz for tickets. Easy. Yeah. All right, here is the brand new single. It's called Grenade.